Erev, Shabbos, Kodesh, Parshas, Tevarim, we welcome a new book of the Torah, a new month, and we pray for a new and healthy, happy chapter in life. As the wonderful and holy prophet Zechariah prophesies, that Tisha B'Av will become a holiday on the Jewish calendar, a yontiv, and a day of Simcha. Rosh Chodesh Av is the yard site of Aaron HaKohen, Aaron Moshe's brother. And although we have a tradition to many people's yard sites, many biblical characters, the day of their death, Aaron's yard site is the only one which is written explicitly in the Chumash. And it was the first day of the month of Av. Obviously, there's something special to celebrate about the day of Aaron. Obviously, there's something we have to learn from Aaron, a message from Aaron, which it was so important for the Torah to write everything about his passing in the Torah, a yard site that we celebrate. Hillel said, we should be the students of Aaron. Ohev shalom, verodev shalom. We should love peace, we should pursue peace. Interesting that in all of the other chapters of Pirkei Avos, with all the wonderful advice that we're given, never does it say, be a student of Moshe, be a student of Abraham, only be a student of Aaron. It would have been just as good if Hillel would have said, Hillel Omer, love peace, pursue peace. What does it mean to be a student of Aaron? And the answer is, that Aaron was not just a pursuer of peace. He was a radical peacemaker. His whole life was about peace, even when it meant compromising with the truth, even when it meant going against the grain. Aaron said, my life work is peace. I love peace and I pursue peace. And Hillel, who went through so much of the same in his own life. He loved peace, he pursued peace, even when there were whole schools in the Talmud built against him and his policies. Hillel said, I'm going to be a student of Aaron. I'm going to be an Aaronian. So for us, as we go into these days and we remember the tragedies of Jerusalem, we remember all of the crises and things that happened to the Jewish people befell the Jewish people throughout history. And as we think of the condition of the world today, and we pray for its health, here's my suggestion for our own yard site. Pick one small part of your life, one relationship, one peace, and be a radical peacemaker. Compromise with the truth, do whatever it takes Go against your grain. Give up on it. Be an ironian. Shabbat shalom. Omevorach.